Hello, AD. I'm Sienna Miller. Welcome to my cottage. Today we are reading actress, model, and fashion designer Sienna Miller's secluded country cottage in Buckinghamshire, England, featured on Architectural Digest. Because that's where everybody always ends up. In the last year, I've redecorated the house with my great friend, Gabby Delal, who is a film director, but has the best taste of anyone. I Gabby Delal gave Sienna her first ever acting job at that very dining table, so it's somewhat fitting for Sienna to return the favor and give Gabby her first ever home renovation project. Plus, this all happened during lockdowns as Sienna was stuck in New York. I just kind of had to put her faith in Gabby when I think it paid off. It's about 45 minutes from London, and it was on to rent or buy, and I thought, I'll rent it for a year, and I came to see it. And fell completely in love and bought it. It's really It nice does place. feel like a fairy tale cottage right out of the movies. The soft pink walls, the green herringbone floors and casements, the pendants, the bar top seating overlook in the garden, all the exposed shelving, the Lacan stove, the Smeg refrigerator. I love it. It reminds me of uh, a Jude Law's house in the holiday. Although that's probably not the best comparison for several reasons. Oh well. Sorry. Thatch is funny. It's like the biggest tiny house you've ever seen. Somehow it keeps on going. It's like a rabbit warren and and it can it's got five bedrooms, so it can sleep is it six it's got six bedrooms. It can sleep twelve people. Well that's a lot bigger than I expected. But let's talk about the roof for a sec since they just showed it. Thatching is one of the oldest roofing techniques. You use dry vegetation, mostly straw or water reed. In some parts of the UK, thatching was pretty much the only available roofing material until the late 1800s. And then in the early 1900s, as rail travel expanded, most homes had transitioned to using slate. It might not look like a quality roof, but if maintained properly, they can last, I don't know, well over 50 years. This is the snuggly room where we all watch TV. This is the What's interesting is a few years ago, I remember seeing her Hamptons home hit the market for around 12 million bucks, but it was the complete opposite of this, like ultra contemporary, white floors, white walls, high gloss, white lacquer cabinets, windows everywhere, basically the furthest thing from this cottage. So this is very unexpected. funny amalgamation of kids' books, my classics class of The Odyssey of Homer with some notes in it. Very impressive. Some Stanislavski. I went to the Lee Strasberg School of Acting and Lee Strasberg's inspiration was Konstantin Stanislavski. So this is called an actor's handbook. Sienna has an interesting upbringing. She was born in New York, but her parents relocated with her to London 18 months later. Her mom is a former model from South Africa and her dad is an American art dealer and banker. Well, they ended up separating and Sienna went off to boarding school. But after graduation, she immediately moved to Germany to pursue modeling. Once she saved up enough in Germany, she moved back to New York, enrolled in the Lee Strasberg program for theater and film simultaneously, continuing with the modeling. Her first big break was Vogue. And with that exposure, the acting door opened up and her career was off from there. This is Marlo's room. There's Marlo on the bed reading. This room is really sweet. It feels like something out of Jane Austen. It's got a really magical feel. It really does. What's not to love? The shape of the ceiling, the bedding, the makeshift window covering. It's a perfect little girl's room. Leaving Marlowe's room, this is the hallway. This is the stairs we came up and I didn't show you that, but that's a 1930s French lantern. Parisian lantern. Sienna also owns a $5 million townhouse in Manhattan. So if you're wondering, she doesn't spend all of her time here at the cottage. Come out into the garden. Maybe the most romantic bedroom. You gotta have a good city to cottage ratio. Amazing old doors. And this is what we call the outhouse, where I send my friends who are madly in love because it's very romantic. Did you see how the bedding just changed? It went from a white floral to a beigey gold print, then back to the white floral. It's a magical property. So I guess the bedding just magically changes too. That she found and embedded into the ceiling and that was a surprise. She, the only thing that she didn't tell me she was doing. It's details like that that I just think add magical character to a place. It's very peaceful. And this whole property is incredible. The main house, the gardens, and now this guest cottage might be the best part. The challenge is it's got a straw roof. You've got to duck and weave through every hallway. Nothing passes code. It would be impossible to replicate and rebuild this today. And yet that's why I love it. 
It is probably the most unique home we've ever reviewed. So I'm going to go with a 9-1. 9.1 stars to the score. This was a very good score. Sienna, I want to visit. Let me know when I should cross the pond. You guys let me know if you want to join me. Hit the like, subscribe, and I will see you in the next video. Bye. Bye.